<laughs> Joining us now is Steve Ulcher, America's reinvention expert. I mean, really what you do is you write books and you have this website and you tell people kind of how to find out what to do with their life? Um, <laughs> if you ask my wife, I do a lot less than that. But, <laughs> but yes, that's generally. That's the goal? That's, yes. All right, so you actually believe that we all have one thing that we were born to do. I do. I believe that everyone has one specific amazing thing that they were born to do. It's in your DNA. It's in your blueprint. That, there's not, there's nothing you can do about it. Okay. So our job is to find it, and you wrote a new book. It's coming out on Monday. What? Is your what? <laughs> what is your what? And look, you've got the DNA, so you actually, it's encoded in my cells then. It's in your DNA, it's in your blueprint. I like to say that your what has chosen you. It is not that what you have chosen. Oh, okay, so you're born with it and you just have to figure out what it is and then you will be eternally happy. <laughs> if only life was that I, simple. I wish it were that simple. <laughs> but it's a little better if you know what your what is. Okay, so you have a little test and you've asked Scott and I to take it. I was nervous when you said test and I saw an attachment. I thought, oh, download, print. How about it's framework, really easy. Right? Yeah. Gifts, vehicle, people. All right, so um, let's get, I think Scott's is funny. He wrote a lot of <laughs> gifts down. Whoa, that's good. So, <laughs> so yeah, so for those of you at home, um, to be able to answer the question of what is your what, there, there, there is, it's not even a test, right? I mean, it's, it's a framework right. to help you be able to answer the question. And your what, to, the, the three parts of the uh, equation here are you have inherent gifts. Those are the things that come most naturally to you. You have the vehicle that you will use to share those gifts with the world. And then you have the people that you're most compelled to serve. And it's the combination of those three elements that really then gets you honed in on why you're here and what you're really born to do. So can you so, find let's out see. So a sense of humor, fairly good looking. Yeah, that's not really a gift for you, my man. Uh, it is a gift. Uh, let's see, hair implants on your head. No, hair in front of my head. Oh, right, hair in front of you, yes, okay. Uh, compassionate, inclusive. So, you're, so sense of humor, what, obviously the joke stuff, but yeah. you know what stands out, the sense of humor, compassionate, you're inclusive, you're an enroller. Right? I mean, that's really what you do. You're a communicator. You're an enroller. So the vehicle through TV, public appearances, weather, storytelling. So you could say mass media, right, is one of the vehicles, then probably the primary vehicle that you use. So you're a communicator. The vehicle you use is, in this case, mass media. And the people you're most compelled to serve, much larger audience. Much uh, larger audience. Trying uh, to... Um, Karen right, asked me so, this. So the idea here is to try to be specific, right? The more specific you can be, the easier it is for you to really hone your message, to really help people who are specifically... Andrea Robinson, one of my coaching uh, students, she said that she took uh, almost 60 years to realize that she is the solution to someone else's problem. Right, and so that's the idea here: is by honing in on the people you're most compelled to serve, you'll be able to be the solution to the problems that they face. So that, that, in my opinion, is the one piece of the puzzle that you really need to get like the sniper on and hit the center of the bullseye. Hmm. Like, who are you here to serve? Because your what exactly. comes with a purpose. It does, and your what, and your, and the people can change, and the vehicle can change. Your gifts are inherent; I, those don't really flex out over time, but how you share your gifts through the vehicle and the people that you're compelled to serve absolutely can change over time. There's <laughs> mine. Gab, the gift of gab, intuition, writing, caring. So you, uh, again, the same sort of thing. You're a communicator. I would put writing in the vehicle, right? So writing would be more of the vehicle. It's you're a communicator, but you're an intuitive communicator because you understand people. You have the ability to look at someone, to talk to someone, and in a short period of time, probably hone in pretty quickly on who they are, what they need, and how you might be able to help them. I try. Right? You try. So the vehicle, TV, writing, speaking, again, it's, it's about just various forms of communication. In this case, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's more of a um, sort of a, a mass media type approach because sure. you're doing it here. Uh, people, everyone, know that you doesn't, can't say everyone. Everyone. It doesn't do you any good at all. I said you everyone. Can't, I right? want to you, serve you, everyone. No. You, yeah, yes, of course, you want to. I'm just going to narrow it down. But you won't be effective doing it, right? Okay. So I you mean, need to really identify. Like for, for, give us an example. You said people come to you and they get coached. And you said people, like, give us a story where someone has really changed their life because of this. Absolutely. So one of my favorite stories is a woman by the name of Donna Miller. She was uh, and still is a nurse, but she just she always felt like a piece of the puzzle was just missing like she liked what she did but she just didn't quite love yeah. it and so her gifts right going back right. to this equation her gifts, great teaching and healing the vehicle 
nursing. The people, she was working in a general hospital. She was unclear. She became clear that the disadvantaged elderly are the people that she's most compelled to serve. She now works in a VA hospital. It's really made all the difference. Made all the difference. So the book is called What Is Your What? And it comes out on Monday. It does. Grab it for free at whatisyourwhat.com. Whatisyourwhat.com. We get it for free? Free. Free. I love what <laughs> things that are free. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank yeah. you so much for being with us. Absolutely. Thank you, studio audience. Have a great day, everybody.